The wait is over, my little helicopter flying friends. We have, just within the CTE for now, a version of the Chinese faction Z-10 attack helicopter that's had the 90 degree control restrictions removed. What we have now is an example of a Battlefield 4 helicopter that is capable of achieving complete 360 degree freedom of movement. I last spoke about this in my video comparing BF-4 and BF-2 flight models. In this video I'm just going to demonstrate some of the new behavioural characteristics and just touch lightly on the changes that have been made behind the scenes. Although I fly real world helicopters and have a fairly good understanding of them, I'm still trying to get my own head around the way DICE has replicated real world physics within Battlefield. The flight model uses some fairly interesting values in order to create an object that behaves broadly like a helicopter, and I fully admit I have yet to get to grips with how it all fits together. As I have explained previously, helicopters in BF4 and BF3 before it were hindered to a certain degree by a limit described in the BF4 code as cyclic fade-out offset. This essentially reduced the effectiveness of your roll and pitch inputs as your helicopter approached the 90 degree point. I still can't say I really understand the purpose of its introduction, but suffice it to say that certain circumstances it was needlessly restrictive, and in some cases landed newer pilots in situations they weren't able to get out of due to no fault of their own. Smaller adjustments have been made to the overall handling of the Z-10, partly in order to facilitate some of the more exciting manoeuvres, and partly by way of overall balance. Top speed has been increased, which will please many people. In general, I have and remain against the idea of increasing overall manoeuvrability and speed for attack helicopters, mainly because I felt that they already represented fairly accurately their relatively heavy real-life counterparts. These are, after all, big, heavily armed machines. Nevertheless, the changes that have been made are large enough to feel slightly more sprightly, but small enough not to ruin the authenticity completely. So are we back to the BF2 days? No, absolutely not, and that can only be a good thing as far as I'm concerned. As I hope you'll be able to see in some of this footage, even when backflipping and rolling, they still look like real full-size helicopters. This is in absolute contrast to some of the BF2 helicopter videos out there that appear to represent little more than their scale model counterparts, performing apparently physics-defying twists and turns around their tails. What's being presented in CTE just now is, in my opinion anyway, a perfect balance of realism and enjoyable vehicle gameplay for the Battlefield franchise. It is a matter of debate as to whether further balance changes need to be made to helicopters. I still firmly believe that these handling changes will not affect the survivability as much as some people seem to suggest. There is one particular manoeuvre, best described as a split S, which I think may come in handy when escaping from certain situations. It is essentially a half roll followed by a half loop. You can get away with a split S from relatively low altitudes and it quickly converts forward flight and altitude in one direction into fast forward flight in the other. And that leads me on to my last point and perhaps also a word of warning. Both loops, in inverted commas, and rolls require a reasonable starting altitude above the ground. Although pitch and roll rates have had a small buff, you will still be spending a significant amount of time with your direction of thrust pointing towards the hard stuff. A 360 degree roll is a great deal easier to achieve than a loop or backflip. You will lose much more height in the latter. Unfortunately, I've only had a chance to fly on Caspian border thus far, and the flight ceiling there is only just high enough to complete the loop. I would say increasing the helicopter flight ceilings would be an important next step. Bye for now.